Chris Carr, this is a lady Shani really likes, and I've seen her uh, on and off over the years. Now, she got cancer rather young in her 20s, and I think that's about like 16 years ago or so. So she's got a famous story where she fought off the cancer. Now, it's still dormant inside her body. It's still there, but she's been holding it off and been doing really well. So it's quite a story, and she's been very inspirational. So she's uh, quite an amazing woman that has been forced through the hero's journey. So that, that's the most important point. Right? Let, me, let me just hit there for a pause for a second right there. It doesn't matter what goddamn type you are. It's something we're really seeing. It's like go through the shock and process of like what type you are. And I'm the worst type ever, and I, I thought I was this type. And I'm gonna be a, that eventually fucking settles. And you really just realize, like, okay, I got this deck of cards that's opposite of that guy. He's just as screwed as I am. You know, there's really no side is up, right? So it's like there's there's pros and cons to every fucking type, right? Eventually, if the universe so chooses you, I really see that's fucking true. The universe might choose you to go on a hero's journey, and that is it's going to fucking kill you. And if you live, you know, congratulations. And that's where it's going to force you to really start to work your parts together. So that's something that just some dopey, silly, idiot INTP got forced through. So Chris Carr got forced through absolute living fucking hell and has come out the other side. And that's what's so amazing. So it's not her fucking type. It's not her fucking type. It's the story that she went through, right? So uh, I believe her to be uh, INTP double feminine. Now she definitely looks like those. Just, just should we talk about that for a second? So these uh, double feminine INTPs, right? So Carl Young is that, uh, yeah, Pee Wee Harmon, uh, Paul Rubens. A lot of the guys are that. And they're, a lot of the guys are like these funny, good looking, fast, silly guys. And then the females, a lot of them are real cuties, if I can say that. They're these, they're, they look just like this. Double feminines and they do the same kind of hair. The, the, the little blonde with the pink. Uh, who's in the community? Melody, is that her name? Yeah. And so it's like, we'll, we'll see this kind of look uh, in the uh, double feminine uh, INTPs. Now, type-wise, uh, I, I thought she was consumed play sleep when Shani was putting the slides together. Shani was like, no, I think she's consumed sleep play. I'm like, okay, whatever. So, somewhere in there, right? So, uh, possibly consumed sleep. We'll take a look at that when we look at the clips here. So I believe her to be, as far as uh, we're looking at the social needs stuff, I believe her to be possibly a number two. She seems to be responsible and then seems to work with friends. And that's, again, that's like making, that's been the biggest revelation this year is like, okay, why are you an INTP and you're not fucking scared of everybody? It's like, oh, the social needs really push through the fucking 512 type. So it's like, it's weird, like discovering this code, it's been great because, uh, you know, if you've been around for the past couple of years, like you get to like watch the process. Like this is how it's been for us. Uh, over the years is like we started with 16 types like everybody else and then we went to 32 types and we discovered the jumpers thought we were done and then went to you know then jumped to 64 128 uh, took out a website domain of like tribe 128 thought we were done and then went to 256 thought we were done a couple years later went to 512 thought we were done once it hit 512 i'm like i'm gonna stop saying i think we're done right even though like the code does look like it's slowing down but it's uh it's weird that um now now that the social things are here, it's like we, we can't stop seeing them everywhere. And uh, they seem to be like uh, more important than the 512 because it's really like governing your life. Because it's like, okay, if, if this girl is a number two with friends at the bottom, which one wins out? I guess that's what I'm saying. It's like, which one wins out? It's like savior versus demon, which one, or savior versus masculine, which one wins out? Like that's, uh, or, or masculine versus introvert function, which one wor wor wins out, right? A lot of times it's like your introverted function will win out. You know, so it's a weird paper, scissors, rock game. Like, not all coins are equal. Like, what you have in the middle is kind of, you know, doesn't have a lot of punching power in your life. That's kind of where you're not having a problem. So, you know, where where is what and what what influences the, the human needs, influence the functions, which influence the animals? Like, there's a whole weird thing to it, right? Uh, that, that's probably about as abstract as it possibly be. So, if, if your friends, uh, so if she is a two or a four and has friends high, sorry if you got the the friend function last like the code just doesn't fucking care same with like uh the, the sexualities like sorry you're double feminine or double masculine it doesn't fucking care here you go good luck out there evolution's just doing this it's like the code knows it's like the fucking evolutionary code knows okay this would be the perfect human like it knows that it knows if i had the parts going this way you would create a human that covers everything but it's like evolution is like, I don't want a human to cover everything. I want all these individual psychos to be running in opposite directions to find the promised land. And I want them to fight each other because that causes World War II and then all the technology spirals up. And it's like, <laughs> fuck. So it's like, if you want to self-grow, evolution is not on your side past about 25. If you want to be not depressed, not full of anxiety and older than 25, that's on you. As you know, I am no stranger to fear. I feel like I have a PhD in fear. I've been living um, with cancer for 16 years now, and I've had to really become friends with my fear. It's become a spiritual practice for me to get to know it and to work with it and to move through it. And I want to share the tools that I use today. Um, I have a scan coming up. So 
a lot of the anxiety uh, starts to flood my body around this time. And this is common. I've done this for 16 years now. So again, I'm sharing what I use and I also run a business. And so there are times when it's just flush. And there have been times in my business where it has been close to the bone. And when you have a lot of people relying on you for their paychecks and livelihood, that can be terrifying. So yeah, the number two lifestyle is like going to run a business. A lot of times they're just busy for business sake. And then they're running with all their friends, you know, and then, so they'll kind of like limit themselves because they got to go and like make everybody else work. And then with the the lack of flexing, there's not a domination like, hey, don't you want to be the best in class in this business? They're like, ah, just kind of running the business where the number ones are like, fuck that. Let's make this the fucking best. Right. And they'll Gary V punch through. Right. Uh, I, I can't not see uh, consume sleep. Let me just kind of let me just kind of uh, touch on that. Good catch, Sandy. Thank you very much. You just caught it last night. So honestly, like kind of going, OK, how did I not see consume sleep? I'll tell you why. Like when you get like bright lights and sunshine and sparkles and smiles, like all that SF shit, that really throws me up. Like, like the energy feel, like the NF feels very extrovert. It feels, she feels very playful. So totally got me. Great job, Chris. Totally tricked me. She looks very extroverted. She looks consumed play. But then yeah, as soon as, see, like how's, how's that, how's that consumed sleep, right? But then when you see her talking, it's like, I got to go with the definitions of the coins, not my fucking biases, not her looks, not her anecdotes or whatever. It's like, no, she is talking in a reserved, processed state. Yeah, the consumed sleep plays versus consumed play sleeps. Goddamn, those are hard ones to catch. The other thing I want to talk about as far as it being natural is, again, there's, I've said this in the past, that's why I said it again, is all of our feelings are welcome to the table. There's, n- there's no point in thinking that we can amputate them. We can't. There's no bad feeling. There's no bad experience in your head. It may not feel good, but there's no reason to judge ourselves because we might be experiencing fear. You know, there's this notion that we should be fearless. I don't think that that's reality. I don't think it's true. I think it's impossible to be fearless. We wouldn't be human. It's a part of our evolution. It's a part of what has kept us safe and alive. There's a reason why you get anxiety. There's a reason why you go into fight or flight. You know, there's a reason why. And in our modern society, it's something that we need to be very mindful about. There's a real tiger or there's a paper tiger. And sometimes we can get the two confused, right? So being fearless is the goal. And sometimes for some folks, even fearing less of the time, it's gotta go. is that all order? I'm, I'm getting okay. scared. There's no reason to change yourself or, or you know, tell yourself stories that you're flawed in some way, because you're not. Okay, I got a little scared there, got a little fearful. So what, what, this is Julian Blanc territory, where you have an IP with Effie at the bottom in a calm state talking about it's okay to have emotions. So Julian Blanc, have you ever fucking watched him? He's an ISTP. And he's been through fucking hell. He's been through tribe hell. He's been persecuted in all sorts of horrible shit he had to go through, a lot of which he caused him fucking self. But that guy, it's like, it's like, it's not like 10,000 hours, like, it's like 50,000 hours of excruciating hell. And you can get this Byron Katie calmness on your fourth function, right? I saw this if you're watching these clip, these videos in order, like Waldo Wallington or whatever, the fighter pilot guy, the, the first video in the stack here this week. He's like, uh, yeah, uh, friends, blah, blah, uh, friends, or like, okay, you're doing good. He's getting there. But he, he hasn't like made a life of hell going into, you know, his fourth functions, his demons, his friends, etc. So it's like with Chris here, it's like there is a calmness and a lovingness to her preaching Effie. Now, now how do you know what side is up or, or down? It's like a person that's been through hell, what do they, what do they want to talk to you about? Like if she's fucking 12 and she's been through nothing, she's going to want to tell you about, hey guys, bah, 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 here's my new app and here's science. And did you know that astrology? Bah, 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 bah. She's going to be T-I-N-E-ing you to fucking death. He'd be like, God damn, another one of these fucking INTPs, right? But if she's coming to you calmly after like, wait, Chris, where have you been the past 20 years? Oh, I've been through hell. Oh, oh okay. So uh, what's up? Hey, so I want to tell you about feelings are okay. It's okay to have feelings and you don't have to get rid of them. You're like, all right, I feel like I'm kind of getting hypnotized here. Go on. When you need help using your tools, when you need help with this next piece, which is telling yourself a better story, telling yeah. yourself a more productive story. We could tell ourselves so many different things, and we often do. For example, we may say, my best years are behind me. And we have that opportunity in that moment to catch ourselves and turn that thought around. My best years are ahead of me. I'm on the ascension. I'm on the ascension. In fact, I want to give you a challenge this week. Your mantra is to say to yourself, I'm on the ascension. I'm on the ascension. I am ascending. I am ascending. Every time you look in the mirror, say it to yourself. You don't have to say it out loud if someone else is in the room and you're embarrassed. Say, I'm on the ascension. Give me a thumbs up if that resonates with you. Because so many of the times we are saying something very different to ourselves. I'm to this. I'm not enough that. I'll never get this. I'll always be that. How about we say, I'm on the ascension. Doesn't that feel good? feels good even just saying it. 
<laughs> to you guys. It feels so good. <laughs> uh, she's really good. If you know what you're looking at, if you know what she's went through and what she's processing, it's really good. So let me talk about that for a second. So it's like the mantra shit of I'm on the ascension, blah, blah, blah. That's not technically, th- that's not how I like to do it. Like DI versus DI here. It's like, I, I found like, so it's like, I-, I can't do the faith thing. I got to like understand what's going on, right? And I think a lot of people kind of relate to that. It's like, uh, okay, l- why? Why does that work, right? So so one thing that happened the other day with Cody is like, um, he, he's been like uh, kind of watch- playing his video games a little too late. And it's like, it's been this nagging thing of like, hey, turn them off. So it's a, you get the deal, like the parental thing. I don't need to go into all the fucking details of raising a fucking kid and how annoying it'll get of, oh, there he's playing his video games again. Oh, now he, now he's stuck out of bed and watched them. Like, okay, that's it. Now that I caught you sneaking out of bed on a school night, playing your fucking video games, that's it. So fine, this has been going on for a long time. So finally, it's like, okay, pull everything out. Because he's got a nice big room. He's got his fucking thing set up. He's got his bed way over here. Like the electronics don't cross the line. Like he's got, you know, he's got a more than an acceptable awesome deal for a fucking kid with some responsibility built in as well. So it doesn't fuck him up long term. So now finally, I'm like, all right, you win. Take all your electronics out. Come put them in this room over here so I can fucking babysit it while you're fucking, you know, while I'm sleeping. I know if you're going to steal them, like you got to now sneak into my fucking room, right? So like as he was carrying out the electronics, I was thinking about something like this. I was thinking about exactly kind of what she was saying. I was like, I'm like, hey, Cody, you won. You met your goal. Like you filled out your story. And like, what are you talking about? I was like, like you, you got this little 10% of your brain where you're like, blah, 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 blah. And you think that's you. But the other 90% that you haven't been conscious of and, and aren't in control of, that thing has a goal. That thing has a story, right? So it's like, you can, you can see it when you get older. You can see your friends and family. Like the person that's always negative and always down. Like that's kind of a story that's playing. Now what they'll do is they'll, they'll call you up with this little part of their brain right here. And they'll lie to you. And they'll, that's not necessarily a lie. But there, there is parts of their brain that goes, I don't want this, right? I, I guess that is true. There is parts of people's brains that are like, I don't want this. And then they just go back to being a fucking drug addict and depression. Or, you know, all the other negative stuff, all the habits. And think about it with like junk food, right? Like, like I can say like, you know, you know what? It's uh, not good to not eat junk food. And like, and like Shani and I are gonna go to fucking In and Out Burger right after this, which is not junk food, by the way. In and Out is that's some healthy, high quality. See, like, what the hell? Like cognitive dissonance, right? So then you can say, work out and eat right, and you can like, you can preach on it, and you can say, it. and there's a part of your brain that really, really believes that. But the other ninety percent, it's like, good luck. It's not gonna do it, right? So it's like you put that all together, and that's your story. That's what she's talking about. And so it's like she's talking about like people have these like negative stories. So like, she's not just talking about. The one little thing that you said here, it's your whole story. So I tell Cody, I'm like, hey, your story, your goal, your unconscious goal, trying to get him to see this, your unconscious goal is, I wanna get my video games taken away. Now let me unpack that for you. Here's what you're doing here. Here's what's going on here. Here's the cause and effect here. When you put that all together and you look at it from the outside as a fucking adult, you can just see like, it looks like to me, you want your fucking video games taken away. So you won. I've been trying to stop you. I've been trying to stop you of getting your goal of getting your video games taken. That's why I come in, I remind you and help you, right? So the universe is like trying to help us, trying to remind us. And we're like, we're just like set on this negative story because, because we're not aware or in control of the rest of our story. So that's so much of what she's trying to like get people to see and she's like trying to come up with a shortcut of like, hey, just just would you fucking just chant a fucking mantra and say, I'm going to win and try and like delete the rest of that story. That's where that is kind of like really good advice of like, if you try and go into the Santa Claus bag, that's what I see just, and, and I know she deals with this 24 seven, just with every, and you can see it in her comments. So like the people that she's doing the video, like, like for example, if you watch the rest of that video there, guess what everybody in the live stream, hey, Chris, my story, blah, blah. And she's like, uh, okay, that's a, a giant wall of text. I, I kind of want a life thing here. Uh, I'll, I'll get back to you later. Like nobody except for fucking Warren Buffett and fucking Alex Hermosi just go, you know what? I got a sack of shit in my fucking head. Why don't I just take all of that and just toss it and then just download something positive and believe that and follow that. And each and every one of us has the power to do that. And we think, how do people overcome fear? All these great people, these great athletes or whatever it is, these people who have done things that we can't even imagine, who have broken through so many barriers. How did they do it? They worked the steps, guys. They worked it. That is how. There's no difference between them and you and me. Not one difference.